Syria is on the edge of civil war, and there, there is a high risk of ethnic cleansing and chaos in Syria and in the fragile neighboring countries. It should, be, it should be obvious to everyone that Assad has failed in protecting his people and that the killings will only increase in numbers and brutality if we do not act. Likewise, it should also be obvious that Assad has no future as Syria's uh, leader. The main objective now is first, not a regime change, First, the main objective is to protect the civilians, and second, a regime change. This uh, bloody regime cannot continue. Then, why are we not helping the civilian population in Syria? An obvious obstacle is Russia, and some will add China. But China tend to switch sides and stick with the winner. We saw it in Libya. But the Russians not only vetoing different resolutions in the UN Security Council on Syria, they also provide weapon and money to the Assad regime. In the beginning of the uprising that was started by school children in the city of Horan, sorry, Dara. Assad was promising to reform the country, but he stopped talking about reforms since the Russian President Putin gave him his unconditional support. Since then, all talk about compromise and reforms have silenced, and Assad has turned all his brutality against his own people. Nevertheless, Russia is not the only one to blame in this situation. If there had been a demand for action in the United States and the Western democracies, a solution without Russia outside the UN Security Council probably would have been found at this point. I believe the explanation lies within our own Western domestic civilians. People in the West are simply fed up with war. They are more concerned with the financial crisis, housing, jobs, and so on. 